Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and talk about the database methods. Now, what are these database methods? Database methods is also used for manipulation, for the data manipulation. They are very similar to the DML statements and they do the same exact thing that the DML does. But if they do the same exact thing, then why do we have to learn about database methods? Because the database methods are more flexible than the DML statements. Now, what do I mean by being more flexible? Let's take a look at the differences between the DML statement and the database methods. In the case of the DML statement, partial update is not allowed. What do you mean by partial update? Let's say we are running, we are doing an insert operation and we are inserting 10 invoice records. And as you already know that in the invoice record, we have a required field called customer. See, if you can go back to your application in the invoice record, you see this is a customer field and this is a required field. So let's say if you're trying to insert a particular record, an invoice record, and in that record, you are not providing the value for that required field. So what will happen is when you will try to insert that record using the insert operation, that is going to fail because of the wrong data, because you have not provided the value. So what will happen is, let's say out of those 20 records, only one record was at fault. Only one record had the customer data missing. But because it's a DML statement, all those 20 records will get rolled back, means none of them will get inserted, even if 19 were correct, even the data for the 19 were correct. So they still won't get inserted because it's a DML statement, because in DML statement, partial update is not allowed. But whereas in the case of the database method, partial update is allowed means there is a parameter that you can specify in the case of database methods if that parameter value is set to true that means the partial update is allowed and if the parameter is set to false that means the partial update is not going to allow so that is what the database methods that's why the database methods are very flexible because you can say that, okay, one of the record is at fault, that's fine. Just go through the rest of the 19 records and try and insert them. And if one record is at fault, only that record will not get inserted, but the rest of those will get inserted. But whereas in the case of the DML statement, even if out of those 20, one record was at fault, the other 19 will also not get inserted because of that error. Now, in the case of the DML statement, another difference is you cannot get the list of success and fail records because Either it's going to be a success or either it's going to be a fail. So you, there is no way you can retrieve a list of, okay, which records were successful or which records were failed because there's nothing like that. Either the, all the records will be successful or either all the records will get failed. But in the case of the database method, since you have this partial update, you will know that, okay, these are the records which were successful and these are the records which were failed. So that's why they are more flexible. Now, in the case of the DML statement, example would be like we have used insert and then the list name. It means insert that, but insert and the list of the records that you want to insert. In the case of the database methods, the syntax is a little bit different. It will use this database class and inside the database class, we have this insert method. And then you're going to provide this name of the list that you want to insert and then this parameter. If the value for the parameter is false, it means the partial update is not allowed. If the value for this parameter is set to true, that means the partial update is allowed. So this is what is the difference between the DML statement and the database methods. In the next tutorial, we are going to go ahead and do some example, and we are going to go ahead and see deep dive into the database methods. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.